I just thought I'd ask, uh, how much are you willing to take? Specifically, people in coastal states with large cities. How much are you willing to take? Because it's been a few days since I've actually recorded a full-on vlog, and I gotta tell you, I've seen a lot of bullshit. Most recently, uh, the bullshit is that there is a Delta variant sweeping through the U.S. of COVID. Now, let me just be absolutely clear. Maybe this is a real pandemic, right? Maybe this is sweeping the nation, but you know what? So do a bunch of other diseases. And this one has been sweeping the world for fucking a year now. Over a year. Over a fucking year. About a year and a half, actually. There there were lockdowns. There still are. Uh, businesses were forced to close. Business owners were arrested for reopening. Parties were banned. Except for cops, because let's not forget there were a bunch of LAPD officers who partied at a bar. They're allowed to. You're not. It's totally safe for them. But parties were banned. People's power was shut off who were hosting parties. Parties were seen as some sort of pariah thing but not just parties family get togethers you couldn't go to the park with a group of people even if you live with them even if you're a couple you're kissing in public you're not wearing masks monster businesses had to adopt a bunch of costly new tactics to make sure that the government didn't bear down on them. And as a result, a bunch of businesses shut down. Businesses that will probably not come back up. All while, massive mega corporations took small business loans from the U.S. government to make sure that their mega corporation could still mega corporation. The Davos elite bandied about the idea of owning nothing and loving it. The Economist had a picture of a giant hand of God holding a doctor by a leash who was holding a dog by a leash with a mask on. It was saying how big government is necessary, how we need big government. Big government is good. I love big brother. Double plus good. Just, just Orwellian enough that people were upset, but not Orwellian enough that they're doing anything about it. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the fact that for... The first year, the lab leak hypothesis was completely panned, and people like me were called dangerous conspiracy theorists. I mean, guilty as charged, but that's not the point. The point is that that was laughed off. R remember how the only time people started to listen to this was when mainstream outlets started to say that maybe it happened when Jon Stewart jumped in and made a comedy routine out of it he made Colbert seem kind of dumb like maybe the only time Hollywood starts to care or listen 
is when they think they can use it. Maybe. Remember how uh, Fauci lied about whether or not we need masks? He couldn't be lying again, by the way. He just lied once. Remember that? Remember how everybody accepted the fact that Fauci lied in such a way as if he is being truthful about the lie now and not lying yet more? His lie resulted in the deaths of tens of millions of people. Y'all remember that? Because I do. I also remember how all this coincides with a digital dollar project. I remember how suddenly everything needed to go contact free. Because in contravention of every known information we have on epidemiology and immunology, suddenly you're supposed to remain indoors not contact anyone, not get any pathogens contacted with your immune system, nothing. You're just supposed to stay indoors, be sedentary, passive, and docile, and you're supposed to wait for everything to happen to you. Prol. That's great for your health. It's great for your health to order in junk food. It's great for your health to be bullied constantly by everybody for not conforming. It's great for your health to neglect your friends and family, to act like contact and being outside is the plague despite significant amounts of research that UV light is bad for viruses, including this one. You're supposed to do all this stuff now. Also, you can get rid of a virus. Not for any other reason, and you'd be a monster, a heartless, hucksterish, anti science monster for suggesting otherwise. Despite all the previous science disagreeing with this approach, despite everything else that people were taught for a long time saying this is all fucking bullshit, now we've got a new normal. And that new normal is what we're going by, even though the new normal contravenes everything people know, including me. But this is fine. Y'all remember when they made all this fine? Y'all remember when they opened up California and a bunch of Californians breathed a sigh of relief? Because now they're closing California back up again. And Missouri. And Mississippi. People are watching it happen again. And they're not calling bullshit on it. <laughs> because Biden's in office. And now that Biden's in office. You can't question anything the government fucking does. Biden threatens to run somebody over with his car. If they ask him the right uh, political question, he would call it wrong, but I'm not Biden. Remember when he subtly mentioned the idea that the U.S. government has nukes and fighter jets in response to people wanting to not be disarmed? Because, you know, it's not like these guns could be used on any other targets than a nuclear base or an F-15 Right? Right? Not like Vietnam happened. Not like guerrilla warfare happened. No. None of that happened. Right? And, and then I get to this other subject, Afghanistan. Because the U.S. government says they're getting out. They say they're getting out. But Trump already said that he'd be out by May if elected. Biden is saying August. <laughs> P 
people are patting him on the back who hated Trump. Saying, that a good boy, Biden. You did a good job by advancing the agenda by like three months. A good Biden. That's what people are doing. It's fucking hilarious. If, if Biden had stuck to Trump's plan that he verbalized anyway, I don't have any, like, assumptions. I don't have any trappings that he would actually have done it. But his verbal plan, if Biden had stuck to that, they'd be gone already. At least the, the visual presence of them. Because there'd still be some of them there. They're, like, keeping a couple hundred. They're sending also in close to like 20,000 more private troops. Private. Isn't it fucking hilarious how you can call something private when the government pays their contracts, when the government gives them their weapons, their armor, their access to equipment? Isn't it fucking funny? It's fucking hilarious. Why aren't you laughing? Why, why, why do these people qualify as private if they get fundamentally the same treatment with less accountability than the U.S. government troops? Why does that work? Well, maybe because the U.S. government can say whatever the fuck they want, even if it doesn't make sense. Maybe because relabeling something lets them maintain their old policies that they liked lets them maintain regional control lets them continue using it for power and influence and resources to enable and back the mega corporations and the banksters who pe- prop up the petrodollar and the pharmaceutical industry which relies on the opium from the region They just have to relabel something, and then suddenly it's 100% okay. You relabel it. It's in different packaging. It has a different facade. But it's the same thing, and for the same purpose. Power. It kind of seems similar, doesn't it? Lambda, delta... Zeta, Theta, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Apart from being names of Sonic characters, robots under the control of Robotnik, um, these are also Greek letters that they can just use to relabel the virus so that they can continue their control policies, so that they can continue to shut down small businesses and make it ever harder for agorists to compete in the marketplace. To give them ever more reason to raid people, to give them ever more reason to shut down their power, to give them ever more reason to jail people, to give them ever more reason to lock everything down, to give them ever more reason to be the controlling and manipulative motherfuckers they are. And all while this contact-free stuff is happening, and the digital dollar seems to be passing, Accenture blockchain technology for a privacy-free dollar future, brought to you by the Rockefellers, the Gates, and the World Economic Forum. This is what people like. This is what people have chosen. Isn't it fucking hilarious? Don't you love it? Isn't this what you signed up for when you sang proud to be an American? Where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died for an oil company. And I proudly sit down on my couch as I sing this song to me. Is that who you are now? And no, I didn't write that down. That was freestyle country. (laughs) This is still unscripted. I'm just insane. Just 
How much more are you going to take? How many more government policies are you going to let them print out so that they can enforce them with their piggy thugs? Every instance of racist police brutality gets more power when this happens, liberals. Leftists, you should smell what The Rock is cooking because all these policies are designed to do is boost mega corporations, banks, and the, the state. But no, you don't actually care about that. Not enough of you anyway. <laughs> if you did, you'd be a libertarian leftist who opposes Biden and these policies and the banksters behind them. But so many leftists are cucked that they don't recognize that Biden was a Republican in progressive clothing. Just sort of like Donald Trump was, was blue most of his life and then he flipped red because he fucking could and because he thought his rich person base would do better with Republicans. Because the sides don't mean shit. Because it's all controlled. Because no matter who wins, the elites win. Because we keep letting it happen. Because people are still okay with it. Because people aren't doing anything about it. Because people are keeping quiet. Because they don't want to be censored. Because people don't want to get awkward conversations at the family dinner or be bullied and blamed for family members dying because they didn't mask up one day. People just go along to get along and it doesn't matter to them that they're being slowly raped of their control of everything. The fact that their privacy will be gone you ask most people about the Snowden leaks, and they won't even know who you're fucking talking about. And then you explain the Snowden leaks to people, and they are opposed to them. But then, all you need is something like this, and they'll be like, Yeah, 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 let me sign up for this contact tracer app that's fundamentally going to track my and everybody else's location around me. Make me a blip in your data set. Yes, yes, Ingress, Pokemon Go, I will sign up to be a CIA surveillance drone with my phone sending all recorded data to Niantic, a company which literally got funding from InQtel, the CIA's venture capital firm. Give me privacy-free digital currencies. All my purchases will be so simple, and I don't have to use that filthy COVID-infected cash. How much more are you going to take? And why are you taking it to begin with? Are the questions I ask of the people who support these policies? Why don't you understand that the same Fauci... <laughs> the same Fauci who lied to you about masks was found later to be connected to a lab in Wuhan where they're doing research on this virus. How much money can go to that lab before it's deemed inappropriate in an ethical sense? Oh, wait, shit, these people don't care about fucking ethics. And they still have support. Even though they don't care about fucking ethics. Sort of like so many other people. Just throw a rock and you'll hit a movement where people are compromised. Where people are just like, fuck ethics. I don't need those philosophy anything. I just need the approval of my peers. That's all. 
Well, no, you you need a lot more than that if you don't want people to be infuriated with you and blame you for shit you did and shouldn't have done. But that would involve caring about accountability. That would involve giving a shit about their impact on the world. That would involve getting up off their both mental and physical couches and doing some activity with their brain and bodies. Not just being like, oh, they told me to lock down. Let me please lock down. Let me be sedentary and silent and order Grubhub and DoorDash. Postmates. Let me do all of this. And then only go out when I, when I absolutely need to. Let me go to the grocery store and get my contact free payments or my delivery to my car. Let me avoid going to church, avoid going to public gatherings, avoid going to the beach or going for hikes in the woods, for these surveillance drones will see that my temperature is too high and alert the authorities. Let me do all this, but let me worship at the feet of people like Jimmy Kimmel and and, and James Corden. And all these people telling me to shelter in place. Because nobody's ever done that before. For any purpose. That wasn't total bullshit. Not like we just had a cold war. Not like the symptoms of the cold war. And in fact cold war itself is still happening with Russia phobia. No. None of that matters. What matters is that the state says I should do something, so I do. I do what the state tells me to. You wonder why I'm fucking insane? This is why. It's like... It's like the, the, the world took crazy pills. And there are only a few of us who have not taken the crazy pills and we can see that the same stuff they taught us in schools which we were forced to attend is now being thrown out the window and has been for a year and a half it's almost like the recommendations that we've been getting to not hyper sanitize everything and to engage in some pathogens to not have our immune systems weakened to the point of not working it's almost like those still are true it's almost like we should get like exercise go outside touch grass as they keep saying to the entire internet at this point talk to our families with no masks don't get our businesses shut down so that our stress levels spike because we're suddenly having to worry about unemployment claims or eviction notices or yet more control of the homeless population from the police that have constantly fucked them over or all the people who have committed suicide or are thinking about doing it because this is driving them fucking insane. Or doing enough drugs that they might as well be doing that. All the fucking insanity in the world cannot prepare you for what's coming. If you don't resist. And, and, and if you don't, your phone will be the mark of the beast constantly tracking you everywhere. Or at least something probably your face <laughs> they'll probably use their facial recognition technology you know the stuff that's powered by Accenture and the Gavi Foundation and the Rockefellers and a bunch of bad actors the let's scan your face into a database the Pfizer considering a third round of shots because if if 
They keep on saying that you need more shots and there's more variants and there's all this stuff that's constantly coming out. Then they can keep the circus going as long as they want. The ringmasters can keep doing whatever the fuck they want because enough people are on their side. Because it's okay to call people stupid. It's okay to call people uneducated because they looked at different information than you did and came to different conclusions. Because the group think has found a social adhesion that it has never seen before. Because people are accused of being hyper-conservative Republicans even when they're people like me. <laughs> even when I go against Republicans, I go against the right, I go against fascists, I go against this empire, I go against the Nazi bullshit that's strained down from the CIA, NASA, and a bunch of other shit. I go against all of that, but I get to be the bad guy. And I get banned from Twitter. All of this because these people are fundamentally evil. If you don't see why this is a problem, if you're one of the obsequious motherfuckers who is continuing to perpetuate this nonsense, despite all the demonstrable harm it's causing, fuck you. I can't be civil about this or anything else to be fair but it's not right you know it's not fucking right none of this is right and the people who wake up are censored I have been banned from multiple communities I've been banned from multiple social networks, all partially because I go against pedophiles, or I go against the elite, or I go against the banksters, or I go against corporations, or I dare to call something state capitalism, or because I dare to say that existing immunological and epidemiological evidence is sort of something we should go by in the regard to this virus and be healthy in the ways that we've always been told we should and it hasn't changed. Why wouldn't somebody go insane? Because this is this is a national Afghanistan building up. Where a large amount of people are dying and being oppressed. And nobody seems to give a shit. And they can just keep prolonging it as long as they fucking want to. No matter how many facts are in their way. And people will continue to watch the mainstream news sources and eat that shit the fuck up. People will just let it happen. It's disgusting. It's grotesque. It's evil. But people are watching it, and most of them aren't even saying anything, much less doing anything. And most people won't even click this video. Because this video has an insane person behind it. They can just call me insane, say I'm crazy. It doesn't matter. The truth doesn't matter. Your freedom doesn't matter. Your rights doesn't matter. Your health doesn't matter. None of it matters. Fuck every single person who doesn't do what the government says. They're just science deniers. They hate science. Despite all of the papers that disprove this particular methodology, despite every paper, every study, Every scientist, every doctor, every professor who says this is bullshit, they still want it. And they will still use violence against people who don't. 
And this is not a problem. Bullshit. This is a problem. It has been a problem since the start. But people like me, who've been spreading the word and banging the drums for a year and a half now, we've been dismissed from the fucking start until now. Even after we've been proven right time and time again. <sighs> Even after people we know have told us that we were right. But not people in charge. They don't care. Because it was never about being right. It was about power. It was about robbing people on the lowest class of everything they had built and giving it to the mega corporations and giving it to the government and giving it to the financial elite. That shape seems familiar. It's almost like the state serves the interests of those who can maintain the most power and there is no way to work with them for your interests. It's almost like you gotta work against them. It's almost like this is darkness and you should not be walking with it. Maybe. But what do I know? I'm a fucking crazy conspiracy theorist. Dismiss everything I say. Spit on me as you walk by me. Make sure to do that all while telling me you hope I die of COVID and that I lose everybody I care about. I've gotten that from so many people. It's like background noise now. So keep it coming. Because you're just proving that you're a violent and vitriolic Karen control freak who chose this path not because of health concerns but because it gave you an excuse to be a cunt. Yeah, almost like that's what you always were. Almost like this society has trained people from a very young age to attack each other, to use groupthink and group punishment, to emphasize conformity and control over real individuality, to silence the students who ask too many questions, to punish the kids who rebelled. As though their parents are perfect and have all the answers. And they shouldn't be told no every once in a while. This society, who puts them in front of media, which tells them to do what they're told. Tell the police. Go to authority. Everything will be fine as long as you do what your teacher says. And your priest. And your government. And the cop. And anybody who we deem as an authority figure. Just do what they say. And you won't get hurt. This society that raises people from that age to be conformist drones for a consumerist engine that says that as long as you work real gosh darn hard and got real gosh darn good god darn grades, you'll do fantastically. You'll be able to pull yourself up by them bootstraps and live the American dream. I'm proud to be an American. I pledge allegiance to the magic sky cloth. Please bequeath upon me not too much semen. I just cleaned my face. You see where I'm coming from with this, maybe? Because let me be clear here. This robbing of freedom is not new. It's been going on forever. The state is a millennia-old institution, and it's not going to go away overnight. But it needs to go. Anarchy is not chaos. This is. Because what's more chaotic than constantly getting mixed signals from a bitch? But, again... Hey, dismiss me. Huh? What do I know? I'm the worst person you've ever met. Everything I say is wrong. Nothing should be taken seriously. And feel free to unfollow, block, ignore, all that stuff. Definitely report me to the authorities. All that. 
do whatever makes your rocks hard make sure that you do that all with the massive intention of being as big a cunt as you can and 100 percent don't wait no do smash the state